This is Kevin. Say hi, Kevin. Hi. Kevin's gonna make me look handsome. Kev here is the owner and proprietor of the Staghead Barbershop up in the junction uh, in Toronto. If you want a good haircut, you gotta come here, man. It also does no harm that he's devilishly handsome. <laughs> he's gonna sort me out because I am looking scraggly. Look at that. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is Matt. He's one of the other barbers here at Staghead. I'm not a barber. An artist. <laughs> he's not a barber, he's an artist. He's the artist formerly known as Matt. A little look there at the gun show. That's in case anyone tries to skip out without paying. That's right. Precisely cut the short hairs to make a bald effect on the neck, but it's not really bald, it's just an illusion, right? So you keep doing it persistently. <laughs> this has been a pleasure episode brought to you by Matt Caroca, barber slash artist. He's been cutting hair for what, is it 15 years or so? 15 years. 15 years. Trained as a barber in New York. Arguably, probably one of the best barbers in Toronto. That is why I'm here. Thank you. It has been a pleasure, it was looking rough. <laughs> yeah, that it was. The shears are out. Chop. chop chop. Barber fact. Did you know that the word barba is derived from the Latin word barba, which means beard? Uh, which apparently back then beards were a sign of manhood, strength, and wisdom. I'm so wise. Back in the day, they used to perform small surgeries, like teeth pulling, stitches, a lot of stuff. So the barber pole, if you put it outside your barber shop back in the day, people will know, travelers will know. This barber does those kind of things, so they'll come in. So the white represents the tissues, the blue represents the veins, and the, what, the red is for the blood. That's how it all started. Barber fact. This is the, the piece de resistance of the, the haircut. How you doing, man? It's the lineup. This is why you should always be really, really nice to your barber. He holds the straight razor. <laughs> Sweetie, sweetie, talk.
Mm. Smells so good. <laughs> it burns so good. It burns so good. <laughs> So this is the uh, the fun part. Now, as you may or may not noticed, my eyebrows are somewhat unruly. So part of the uh, the grooming process for the husband of leisure is for Kevin, who's very kindly going to tame these bad boys. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oofed. Oofed. Yeah. It's been a while. Oh man, this is gonna hurt. Oh. 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 Jeez. Oh, God, I wasn't ready for that one. Oh, look at him. He's loving it. Loving, loving the pain. Loving the pain. Bloody hell. That's nice. Good to go? Good to go. Awesome. Thanks very much, man. Yeah. Man. And I am done. If you're in the junction, or if you're not in the junction, get down to the Staghead Barber Shop. It is absolutely top notch. This is the husband of leisure. I'll see you later.